Hi, this is Frankie and welcome to another video tutorial. This time I would like to show you how you can use the Accordion Resource Editor to put resources and activities inside an Accordion object. Let me start by giving you a demo of, of the Accordion Resource Editor at work in action. So here I've got the collapsible topics course format. If I go at if I go here to the second topic and I click that, I've got an an accordion resource editor already set up. Okay, so you see that it's working there. So question is how did I do this? How did I get the chat room resource as well as a uh, web page resource inside my chat room? Okay, so here's how it's done. First I open the first topic and I've got two resources. That's the uh, book resource and here's a uh, link, link to a web page. So let me turn editing on. Now I'm going to insert an and a n not a n d insert an accordion. That's the resource editor. So let me just type uh, my accordion. Now would that be d i o n or d i a n? Okay, the text on the screen is inconsistent, but I'll keep with D I O N. Okay, I'm just gonna save that first. Maybe I'll just type a text here. Let's return to the course. Having saved that, and let me turn editing off just to so that we can focus on what's happening. Okay, here you go. So this is what uh, those of you who have the Accordion Resource Editor installed in your Moodle site will be able to do, which is basically links. And of course, uh, if you saw earlier on the Accordion Resource Editor, Edit Box had, uh, th there's an option for you to actually embed HTML code. So in other words, you could put an embed code to a YouTube video, an embed code to some Web 2.0 uh, resource. Yeah. So now I'd like to show you how you can put this to uh, Moodle resources, a book and a link to a web page inside the Accordion. Now actually it's a little trick here, and the trick here is a little bit complicated depending on how you look at it, whether you're willing to put in the extra effort to, to do it, and there are some advantages and some really clear disadvantages to it which I'll cover it towards the end of this video. But now let's get on to, to creating, uh, putting those two resources into my accordion. I've just turned editing on. Okay, now I'm going to click this very soon, but first of all, here's a trick. I'm going to go to View Page Source. Okay, uh, you couldn't see the View option because it's out of the camera camera view, but uh, those of you with Firefox, you have a View option right at the top there of on your menu bar, and you scroll down, you've got Page Source. Okay, now can you remember what was the name of the resource? Okay, I've just forgotten. Book introduction and Google search engine. Okay, so let's search for um, book resource introduction. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
right. Now what you do is you copy this whole section from the list open list tag right until the closing of the list tag. Now this highlighted block is of course uh, obviously you can see here it says book introduction. So that's the HTML code for the actual uh, book resource. I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to go into text document paste that in. Okay, it looks pretty messy and probably by now some of you have given up doing this. Nope, nope, don't give up, don't give up. Let's go to format word wrap. Okay, now that's easier. Easier to see. Now I, men I, I mentioned don't give up because you need to go step by step. So stick with me and uh, at the end you'll be able to do this. So what I've done was uh, I pasted the code, the HTML code for the book resource into the into this uh, text box here, this notepad uh, text window, and I turned the format under format. I turned off the word wrap. Why would I want to do that? Well, because I want to see clearly the uh, the meat in the hamburger. Okay, this is like a hamburger. Just uh, open list tag, close list tag. And now I'm just going to delete off the hamburger. Okay, the Pink Panther would pronounce hamburger in with a French accent. Uh, that's a little joke there, reference to Steve Martin. Okay, now that's done. Now what about the other resource? What was the other resource? Well, the other resource is this one, this code here. Okay, if I were to scroll right there, you can see that it's the uh, Google search. There you go. Okay, it's a link to uh, this whole code. is actually actually the the Moodle resource, which is the uh, re uh, web page. I'm sorry, link to a web page resource. So again, I'm going to copy that and put it into. I'm sorry, not that one this one put that into uh, the text the, the notepad window again I've copied and pasted that section there now we're only interested in the first line and the last line of the ally tag now this the burger uh, the meat of the hamburger so to speak that's basically just the editing uh, commands, move right, move left, update, delete and hide. Okay, so I'm going to uh, delete that. And maybe I'll put one more just to show you what, what, hap what, what, what happens when you actually put that code in there. And, and let's say if we don't delete this, what happens next? Okay. Right, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a uh, an ordered list tag. That's the open an ordered list tag and then the uh, front slash ul. That's to close the unordered list tag. Next I select all and I copy this code. Yeah, I told you it was complicated but it's not that difficult, right? So far you're following me? Okay, don't give up yet because we're going to uh, see the end of the tunnel soon. The light at the end of the, of the tunnel is coming soon. Now go back to the accordion object, click on the update icon. So make sure that you click on the uh, HTML toggle button. So right now I'm in text mode or basically HTML mode. Paste that in save and return to course. Let's see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, now let me turn editing off. Okay. Aha! There you go. See that? Aha. Now, the thing is, how did I manage to get rid of the bullet point here? And what's this bullet point doing over here? 
Well, the bullet point is because you've got the L Li, which is the uh, list tag. You've got this list tag, and before that, it's it's uh, within or inside uh, an un an unordered list. So the unordered list tag will give you a bullet point for every Li tag. So that explains this one here. Okay, these are Li tags, list tags, and uh, because it's an uh, it's under an unordered list, each of the Li tags will be preceded by a bullet point. Now, how did I get rid of the bullet point? Okay, here's here's the uh, another trick. If you really want to get rid of the bullet point, and I, and I do because it kind of kind of um, clutters up the screen a bit. Well, the trick is to put in. Uh, the trick is to put in something like this. Okay, and it's a class being defined, so we use the cascading style shape code to <coughs> redefine the UL tag. And let me get back to the editing mode. Okay, let's click on the edit accordion button again go to the HTML toggle button and this time I'm going to put that in so now you can see that that's uh, uh, ul space class equals open qu double quote no underscore dot underscore list close double quote sharp bracket close uh, this one here, that the name of the class, of course you can put in any name, but I'm putting a descriptive name there. And let me show you what the class looks like. But first let me save this and return the course. I hope you're still following me. We've not reached the end yet, but we're close to it. And now as you can see, uh, the bullet symbol is gone. So what happened? Well, where was the class defined? Well, let me show it to you. Well, here I'm using here I'm using uh, FileZilla FTP client. So let me just uh, reconnect back to my to my server. Okay. HTTP docs SCM. Let's go to my theme folder. Now I'm using the isometric theme. And let's look for the cascading star sheet. Aha, here you go. Isometric.css. That's this the style sheet, cascading style sheet for this theme. And since I, I like this theme so much, I'm just going to edit the this CSS and not the CSS of all the themes in my site. So I'm going to go to View Edit. That calls up this uh, this really useful Notepad version two, Notepad plus plus. I'm just going to scroll out, scroll out all the way down, because this part of the code has to be added in into your cascading style sheet. So that's ul dot no list, no underscore dot underscore list, and it says here list hyphen style hyphen type colon none. So none, the none keyword will get rid of the bullet point. So when a class no dot list is called. Uh, this code is executed, and therefore there is no more, there is no more bullet point. You get, you get that. Okay, let me close this. Now we haven't finished yet because, I if you can see, uh, let me just turn editing off again, so that we can see things a little bit clearly. As you can see, I've got the real resource here, the book resource and the and the link to the website resource. 
these are actual resources and of course uh, this will be logged by Mo the Moodle log now the drawback about this method is that these of course mimic the actual resources but they're not really resources because they're just links um, maybe somebody can correct me if I'm wrong but I don't think these are logged by the Moodle log. I could be wrong. I've not tried it out and I've not looked at the logs yet. Okay, now we haven't finished because, um, well, okay, now, now moving on, moving on. We haven't finished because it, it doesn't look nice when you've got the duplicate uh, links here. Here's the link and so called link, and that's the uh, actual resource there. So, what are we going to do with this? Uh, can we hide this? Uh, no, we can't. We, we can't uh, just go to turn editing on and then hide the two resources in the hope that they won't be seen although they're existing so if I were to hide the book introduction as well as the Google search engine uh, link if I hide this too then later on when I click on these links I can't get in because the resource has been hidden okay so the trick here another trick there's a third trick here which is not really a trick it's a well-known tactic you just move the resource out of the way and by out of the way what I mean is to move it all the way down to the last topic here okay now you can see it's, it's gonna join its two cousins Wikipedia and my chat room this were from uh, the second topic yeah these two you see that R remember those two okay let me close this up so I'm gonna move them down to join their cousins Okay, so they've been uh, quarantined. And one more. Google search engine, click. Let's uh, quarantine them down here. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry for all that scrolling. You can pause the video at any time anyway. Just uh, don't get seasick. Okay. And of course, the final step in this really convoluted, uh, complicated, uh, gut-wrenching experience of uh, of achieving what you want to do, but really the the end result is really sweet if you want to go for it, if you really want to go for it. Anyway, I'm sure uh, half of you are game, and half of you probably would have given up at this point of time. But uh, no, we don't give up. We keep on soldiering on we keep on uh, going with a determination not to give up so now I've changed the number of weeks to 19 so what, it w what this means is that the 20th week will be totally hidden, hidden from the view of the user so the user doesn't say aha I knew where you hid those resources now now I know where you hid where, you, where you've hidden those resources Okay, now let's scroll down. That's week nine. Topic nineteen. Topic twenty is invisible. It's been hidden. Now let's turn editing off. So for all that hard work, is is it really worth it? Is it really worth it to achieve something like this? Well, I, I guess it all depends because now it's working. It's working perfectly. Yeah. So what you've got is you've got an accordion object, an accordion resource editor, containing uh, accordionized so-called resources inside the accordion now the accordion is inside the collapsible topic and that's how I defeat the scroll of death okay but what's the expense what's what's the cost to this well the cost of this is that it's extra work but the more you do it the this type of work the easier it becomes yeah familiarity will uh, bring about the ease of use or you get so used to doing this that it's as natural as breathing air but uh, what's the cost? well the cost is um, well uh, this is the first, first time I'm doing this actually this is the first time I've, I've uh, pasted in code that includes the uh, this navigation and the editing and the delete and the hide uh, icons um, well, well the drawback to this two at least is that you can't hide them and you can't move them because these are hard coded HTML code is basically how, to, which is how to how to uh, install the encoding object. Uh, that will be another video. So thank you very much for your patience, and hope you didn't fall asleep. This is Frankie signing off.